So I just wanted to show you guys how I pull out liquid. The first thing I do is I get my needles ready. This is um, a 21 gauge needle. I use one to withdraw all the fluid and I pre-fill um, two vials or so worth, which I think gives me about five doses depending on um, you know, the weight. Aggie weighs right now about eight pounds. So, um, so she gets two mils at, at eight milligram uh, dose per kilo. Uh, then I also have a whole bunch of 23 gauge. These are the actual ones I use to inject her with. So I prep these just by getting them ready to go. Just so I can pull them out real quick. Um, then I also clean the tops of the vials before I inject them. So these are vials that just came out of the fridge. I keep them in the fridge until I'm going to use them. Then once I pre-fill them, I actually leave them in a drawer that um, is completely enclosed so that light can't get to it because my understanding is this stuff is sensitive to light. So I just pop the lids. And then I just have these alcohol prep pads. Um, I got these ones at Costco, a four pack of, of 100 each, just because I use them for lots of other things. You can also get them at like places like Kroger where you can just get one box if you're not gonna need them for other things. So I just kind of dab that a little bit. I don't know how important this really is. I mean, by the time we're putting in the cat, it's not, we're not sterile anymore. Until you open it, it is sterile, but we're not in a sterile environment, so. Um, you know, I don't know how much it really matters, but I figure why not? I watched a video on YouTube on how to do this originally, and that is how they did this. Um, let that air dry. So I guess I usually do that part first, and then I open up all the needles. That way it gives it a minute to dry. Um, but I'm going to go ahead. Let's look. Dry enough. So the first thing I do with um, a new needle and this again is the 21 gauge. Um, how I do this, and this is something that the uh, pharmacist at one of my local pharmacies told me to do and it makes it I think a lot easier. I pull back the plunger all the way to the end and then I take the bottle. I also go in at an angle, about a 45 degree angle, all the way in. I uh, turn the bottle so that the needle, because my needle is only one inch, um, so the needle is just a little bit um, above the fluid, uh, the fluid, so then I can push the air back in um, without bubbling the fluid. Then I pull the fluid, the needle down into the fluid, and then it makes it a lot easier to pull the fluid in. And then I make sure to keep that needle down. Sometimes you might have to like, uh, you might have to push the air back up if you don't if you don't get it to come down, which I'm probably gonna have to do. So now I push the air back up, pull my needle down, and I get it to come. And I want to go up since it's a two um, mil dose. I want to get past two. That way I can get any bubbles in here, um, so I can push them out and then push the plunger all the way to two. Then I turn it, flip it. I pull the plunger back down to get any fluid that's left in the needle. I recap the needle. I take one of my 23 gauge, which are the ones I'm actually gonna inject with. I swap the needles. And now, I push all the way up just to get the air out of this needle and make sure I'm still at two. And that's it. So that's how I pre-fill. I'll do another one to show you guys. So I take that off, pull the plunger all the way down to the end, insert it at an angle. Now that there's a lot of fluid gone, <laughs> it's not so hard to um, uh, get the needle above. Push the stopper closed, the plunger closed, pull the needle back down to the liquid. And then again, I 
go past two, so I make sure when I push this back up here in a minute, I am, so I can go all the way to two, turn it over, pull it out, pull it back. I do try and do it quickly because otherwise you might spill liquid, like I've spilled a couple drops here. And this stuff is liquid gold, so you don't want to waste it. Cap it. Pull a new needle. Swap it. Put the fresh needle on. And again, all the way to two. So now I have two needles filled. Now see with, with a two mil the, um, dose with Aggie, I only get two full shots out of one bottle. Typically I would do this part um, after I have done the other two, but I think you guys get it. So what I do, which again, this is totally up to you guys if you wanna do it or not. Um, I actually take off this little metal band and then I pull the cap out and um, I take the liquid. I actually also have, this is the needle from last time I did this. And um, what I had left over was uh, 1.3 mils about. And so it wasn't enough for a full dose. So I saved this in the fridge with my other bottles. And so now I'm going to use some, I found some wire uh, cutters to be the best. This is just aluminum, it cuts really easily. Um, again, I have not sterilized these, they're actually rusty, but um, the parts that I'm gonna be touching with the needle um, are not gonna be parts that I'm touching with these right now. So again, I'm not too worried. I've been doing this for over, you know, almost two months and there haven't been any repercussions. So I just nip here, nip here till it's good, till it's cut through. And then I just remove this, put it off to the side. Then I grab my fresh needle and um, I just, again, like I save every little bit. So part, I'm not touching any of these. Um, so again, I just, there's some on the, on the lid. So I just, Put the needle down and slowly suck it up. There's really not much, but again, I figure for the price I pay for this stuff, I should get every little drop that I can. And now that I've gotten almost all the way to the end, I just slowly put the drops back in there. See, there's a little bit more. I just kind of try and get the bigger spots. The stuff is thick, so it likes to stick. And uh, then I toss that. Um, and then I would do the other, I'd have the stuff from the other bottle and I would then just uh, stick this needle in here. There's probably, so this is my old needle, um, which actually I'm gonna swap these. I don't know if it really matters, but. So I put it at an angle because that way it gets everything kind of down there. And then I just pull and I get the fluid in there. Try and do it all in one. And again, I really get everything down there. I get rid of those air bubbles that are in the needle. That's about everything. So I just try and get if there's any air bubbles in there. The other thing is, is now that that's been sucking, I try and pull it a little bit more just in case there's anything left in the needle. Sometimes you can't really, then I slowly push it up just in case there is any fluid left in there. And this one, I'm right at about two, so I'm at a dose there. So now I would cap this, grab a fresh needle, Pull off that one. And there I have a dose from the leftovers of all my other bottles. Um, I've done this quite a few times. Uh, 
I, I remember when it was first brought up in the group and I was digging through my trash, trying to find all my old bottles because it's in a trash can that I don't throw away very often. It's not a, a trash can that has uh, food in it. And uh, I, I got, I think, probably about a dose at that point, if not more, um, just from the, from the bottles, what was left in them. And uh, anyway, so that's how I do it. And then when I'm done, I use the leftover alcohol pad um, and I just wipe down the surface because if there's any of these drops on there, I don't want them on my body because um, this is the desk I use. So anyways, I hope that helps you all. And uh, let me know if you have any questions.